Jason pa siya. Hello guys! Good morning from Tokyo. It's my second day here and I need to wake up early na because I'll be checking out na rin later. Medyo maaga rin kasi yung check out time nila dito. 10am. For solo travelers, I highly recommend this postel. Actually, I posted a separate vlog so if you're curious and want more details, you can check that out. Bitin yung stay ko dito kasi hindi ko pa masyadong na-explore yung area which is within walking distance lang to sa mga tourist spot dito sa may asako sa Iniwan ko muna yung luggage ko dito sa postal kasi I'm heading to the airport later and it's a good thing there's a direct train access here to and from the airport kaya big factor yun for me Checking out, thank you! It's still early so let's have brunch first I'm so excited to try this famous Yukatsu spot here in Asakusa. I arrived 15 minutes before their opening time at 11 a.m. and as expected, ganito nakahaba yung pila. I waited for almost an hour din kasi sobrang late lang pala nung loob niya. I think mga 10 packs na yung pasha. It's my first summer here in Japan. Well, sanay naman tayo sa init ng Pinas. Pero, iba kasi yung humidity levels nila dito. Kaya lalong mas mainit. So, don't forget to bring your summer essentials. Lalo na yung umbrella. During summer kasi, maulan din dito sa Japan. Like last night, as in, bagyo levels yung lakas ng ulan. Pero, I suggest sa Pilipinas kayo bumili ng umbrella ha. Kasi medyo mahal yung mga umbrella nila dito. And, kunin nyo yung mga may UV na. And since you're here in Japan, marami silang items available to help you survive the heat. All of which can be found lang sa mga convenience stores. Meron silang cooling body wipes, ice packs, portable fans, cooling sprays, UV protection arm covers, kahit yung cooling patches for your neck and forehead. Meron din sila. And these are widely available and can really help you stay comfortable in Japan's new summer weather.
Since we're staying in Japan for three weeks and traveling from central to south and north, we decided to get the 7-day JR Pass para mas makatipid kami. So what is JR Pass or Japan Rail Pass? Ito yung special transportation pass available lang exclusively to foreign tourists visiting Japan. It allows unlimited travel on Japan railway trains, including yung famous na Shinkansen or bullet trains, limited express, and local trains for a set number of days. So the JR Pass comes in different durations, merong 7, 14, or 21 days. Nationwide yung coverage niya, so the pass allows travel across Japan, making it ideal for tourists planning to visit multiple regions such as Central, South, and North Japan, kagaya nga ng ginawa natin. Cost savings din siya kasi while the JR Pass has an upfront cost, it can be a cost-effective option for long-distance travel, especially on Shinkansen trains, compared to purchasing individual tickets. Though meron din siya mga restrictions kasi some of the fastest Shinkansen like the Nozomi and Mizuho trains hindi siya cover ng JR Pass but there are still many other Shinkansen naman options available. But before buying, evaluate mo na yung itinerary nyo kung worth it ba na kumuha ng JR Pass. You can use this fair calculator to check if the JR Pass makes sense based on your itinerary. So, let's check if you're traveling only between Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto, and then going back to Osaka and Tokyo. Let's see kung how much. So, your total itinerary cost is nasa 30,000 yen, which is mas mura compared sa 7-day JR Pass na 50,000 yen. So, hindi siya advisable to get a JR Pass. And para ma-compare, ito yung naging itinerary namin for 7 days using the JR Pass. We started from Osaka, then traveled to Aomori, with our final stop in Sapporo, where we were also able to use the JR Pass for JR local trains. And then on the 7th day, we returned to Tokyo for our last stop. So, ito yung total fare for this itinerary, 85,900. So, nakatipid kami ng 35,900 yen. That's why it's advisable to check the fare calculator before buying the JR Pass and make sure to maximize the number of days you'll be using it. Please note lang that if you start using it at 10 p.m., for example, it's already considered as one full day. It's not based on a 24-hour period from when you first use it. It's essential to buy the pass before your trip if you want to ensure you get the best deals or have the pass ready upon arrival. So, magbibili nyo siya sa jrailpass.com, Japan Experience. Meron din sa club where we bought our tickets and sa mga authorized travel agencies outside Japan. 10 days before my flight, I booked my JR Pass via Klook and opted for the ordinary car lang or yung second class. Ang main difference lang naman between the ordinary car and the first class or yung green car is that the green car can offer more comfortable seating with wider seats and more leg room. Tsaka mas tahimik lang kasi doon, so less crowded. The voucher will be mailed to you and you should receive it within 3 days. So, keep the voucher safe ha, and don't forget to bring it kasi you need to exchange it for the actual JR Pass at the JR office located at the airport or certain major train stations. 
Upon claiming your JR Pass, you can also make reservations na din for your first train schedule. In our case, since hindi masyadong mahaba yung line, we were able to reserve seats for two train trips na right away. You can make seat reservations sa mga JR ticket offices. Meron din sa mga ticket vending machines, kaya lang medyo nalilito kami sa so mas prefer namin sa mga ticket offices magpa-reserve. Upon seat reservation, makukuha nyo rin naman agad yung printed ticket nyo. So, pagpasok nyo ng gate, dalawang ticket yung i-insert nyo at the same time kasi isa dyan is yung JR Pass nyo and the other one is yung reserve seat ticket. So, pag insert ng ticket, you need to wait, mailabas siya ng machine and then hold on to your ticket hanggang sa may exit kasi you need to insert it ulit, yung dalawang ticket at the same time. Pero, ang lalabas dyan, isa na lang, which is yung JR Pass nyo. Kaya, it is important na you should keep your JR Pass ticket until the very last moment you need to use it. Nako, if you lose your JR Pass ticket, it can be quite problematic because the JR Pass is a non-refundable and non-replaceable item once issued. Sakit sa ulo tsaka sakit sa bulsa kaya kailangan nyo talagang ingatan yung ticket nyo. I hope this helps you in some way. Don't worry, when you purchase your ticket naman sa Fluke, they will also send you a digital guide about the JR Pass which will provide detailed information to help you understand how to use it effectively. For more comprehensive information, you can refer to the official JR Pass website or travel forums where users share their experiences and tips on maximizing the use of the pass. Wrong line kami. This is where we should get our JR Pass pala. Yeah, we decided to get the JR Pass since we'll be traveling from central to both the south and north of Japan. Mahal siya, but with our itinerary kasi, mas makakatipid kami. And from here, pinapalitan naman namin yung Skyliner train ticket namin na in sa clue. So we're taking the Skyliner train going to Tokyo. Ito yung fastest option.
So you will be. Kasi ano ba ang dessert na ito? Ito na. Ito sa That's it for today. Thank you all for watching and see you in